among those that have been billed to appear before the Senate today for the confirmation hearing, Aisha Abubakar. And uh, we'd just like to remind you that Aisha Abubakar had a petition against her. The Ethics Committee received that petition, looked into it, and has presented the petition today. And um, we were informed by the Senate that the petition has been withdrawn. But that report has been laid. It's still going to be considered. We'll we get ready for her now as she comes in. She's the last nominee that will go through the confirmation hearing for today and the last nominee of all the names sent by President Muhammad Buhari for the confirmation hearing before the Senate. And um, when this, uh, when she completes her own turn, it will now be time for the Senate to take a vote on all the names that have come forward. And there you have her, uh, Madam Aisha Bakker, making her way down into the chamber, followed by the senior special advisor to the president on the National Assembly Affairs. She's now going to walk to the... She's taking her bow before the Senate president, going to repeat that before the majority leader and the deputy Senate president, then before the minority leader, before she takes her stand. The last nominee for the day, taking her stand to, come, to begin her confirmation here. Distinguished Senators, order. Distinguished, distinguished colleagues. Distinguished colleagues, the ministerial nominee that we have before us is Aisha Abubakar. Aisha Abubakar, you are welcome. We have all got your CV. Um, why don't you just give us a brief brief introduction of yourself. You don't need to talk at length on what is already in your CV. If there's something you think we've missed out on your CV, or there's something in particular that you want to emphasize on, this is a very, this is a very gender-friendly chamber on both sides, on both sides of the divide. And the other side will always let us know how gender-friendly is with the way they ask their questions. So, tell us if you tell us a bit about yourself. Thank you. Distinguished President of the Senate, Dr. Walker Ulukokola Saraki, Distinguished Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Ikurumadu, Principal Officers of the Senate and all other distinguished senators. Good afternoon. Kindly permit me to specially recognize the distinguished senators from my home state of Sokoto, distinguished senator Aliu Wamagatekardawamako, Sarkinya Uman Sokoto, distinguished senator Ibrahim Gobir, Sardawla Sokoto, who represents my own senatorial zone. Also allow me to send special greetings to all the female Amazons in this house. I would like to give thanks to the Almighty Allah for allowing us to witness this day. My sincere and deep gratitude goes to His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, for the honor and privilege of nominating me as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I also wish to thank my dear father, Alhaji Abubakar Alhaji, Sardano of Sokoto, for the good upbringing, values instilled in me, and the privilege of a sound education that has made it possible for me to stand before this fellow chamber today. Distinguished Senators, my name is Aisha Abubakar. 
I attended Corona School, Victoria Island, Lagos, where I proceeded to Queen's College, Yaba, Lagos, to achieve my secondary school. <laughs> These early years exposed me to the richness and strength of our diverse culture, which remains untapped. I hold a bachelor's degree in politics with international relations from the University of Warwick and a master's degree in uh, development studies from the University of Leeds, both in the United Kingdom. Over the years, I have attended several professional courses on SME development, microfinance, and organizational transformation. I am also a certified associate member of the International Professional Managers Association UK. Over 20 years' experience in both the public and private sectors, I am currently serving as a pioneer director at the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate. It's called PITAD. <clears throat> PITAD is an agency of the federal government that is responsible for pension administration of the defined benefit scheme. That is for pensioners that retired before 30th of June 2007, as well as retired and retiring heads of service and permanent secretaries. It was established to address the numerous irregularities in pension payments and gratuities. Before that, I served as the Managing Director CEO of Abuja Enterprise Agency of the Federal Capital Territory. AEA is the FCT's vehicle for developing small and medium enterprises. Its focus involves facilitating financial access to small businesses, especially in the area, and then capacity building, especially in the area of entrepreneurship development, support services, for the sustainability of these businesses. Under my watch, our efforts at AEA was recognized for being a model for entrepreneurship development as a way of lifting people and communities out of poverty. For this, the Global Poverty Project awarded us with a present, uh, award, us, awarded us with a award called the Citizens Project Award for Entrepreneurship Innovation in New York in 2013. This award was presented to us by Mohammed Yunis the chairman of the Grameen Bank. Between the years 1997 and 1999, I briefly served as an operations risk manager at the African International Bank at its headquarters in Lagos. Between 1993 and 1997, I worked in the African Development